Using CTCSS or DCS protection in your scanner is really a good thing because it keeps so much noise and confusion out of your scanning environment. But the question is, how do you determine which is the correct tone or code for the frequency you're trying to monitor? The answer is the 996P2 scanner has the capability of detecting unknown CTCSS or DCS signals and presenting them tone or code on the screen so you can utilize them to set up the, the frequency and channel that you're working with. The method I've used to locate the missing CTCSS or DCS tone or codes is by building a standard system and allowing the scanner to do, to do the search for me. I've got a system called CTCSS DCS search. The required group is called tone code search. And finally, the channel where I put in the frequency that I'm knowledgeable of, but I don't know what the tone or code is. I put it in the channel and the uh, scanner will look at that and tell me what, uh, what the tone or code is. And so now the thing I have to do is go over to the software package free scan and build this system really quickly. This is the free scan scanner software. It's available from radioreference.com. It's a free software package and it's compatible with the Uniden 996P2 scanner. So I'll start right off and build the system I need to detect uh, CT, CSS, and DCS tone and code. I'll move up here to the new system, click on that. It comes up on conventional. I am working with a conventional system. I'll give it a name, which will be CTCSS DCS search. I'll create that system. It comes up, it's already built in one group. I'll rename that group to tone code, code search. And now I'm going to build up one frequency uh, to, to use to, de uh, to demonstrate the detecting capability of the 996P2. Okay, by clicking on the green arrow, it allows me to input the frequency and double click on that and I can enter one, oops, I can enter 158.4075, which is an FRS frequency. Over here on tone, hidden in the middle of all these different C, uh, CTCSS tones and DCS tones is a box called search. And that's what enables the CTCSS DCS search. Over here on the audio type, you have to put it on analog. If you leave it on all, it won't do it. So you have to click that onto analog. And that is about the amount of uh, programming you have to do in this thing to make this work. With that complete, I'm going to save the file so I don't lose it. That's pretty standard. It's file, save as, give it a name, etc., etc. And um, the next step is to upload it into the scanner. And I do that by finding this little walkie-talkie with an up arrow on it. Upload to scanner. I'm going to click on that. This box opens up. Here's the name of, this, of the system I'm working with. I've got to check that box. And... In my case, I've reset my scanner so there's nothing in it, and I'm going to do an add only, do not overwrite. But you could also do an erase all systems and settings, which would take everything out except the new system you're putting in. Or this one would individually replace only the system by the same name you're putting in and leave everything else as is. I'm going to use the add only today. And to upload, I just hit start upload. You get the activity down here. And when it's done, it's uploaded. Here's what the scanner looks like and how it reacts when you push an upload into it. And that's it. Okay, here I am with the walkie-talkie. It's been programmed to uh, 158.4075. And here comes a uh, CTCSS channel. And there we go. And it's reading 146.2 Hertz and that is correct. Now I'm going to move up to a DCS channel and there it is and the DCS channel I chose was DCS code number 311 
and there it is. So it, the uh, scanner has successfully detected both uh, protection tone inputs that I put into it. What I like about having this CTCSS DCS detection uh, process built up on a system is the fact you can leave it in your scanner and if you have a new frequency that comes up you can just pull it up on the scanner really quickly and uh, detect what the uh, tone or code is. On this scanner right now I've got three systems running. I've got, I've got a, a PD trunking system. I've also got a high school district system with some high schools on it. And finally I've got the, the CTCSS DCS search system. And I've got a new frequency 145.390 that I want to detect. It's a ham frequency that talks all morning. And so I'm going to change the frequency on my channel here and see what the uh, tone code is on that on that channel. And here we go. We start off by hitting menu, program system enter, CT Oops, CT, where'd it go? CT, CSS, DCS, uh, search, enter, edit group, enter, tone code search, enter, edit channel, enter, tone code search, enter, and finally edit frequency. And there's the old frequency, and here comes the new one 145.3900, enter. And then I go back to scanning, and it's talking. Let's see how long it takes to. F All right, thank you there, Art. Great and there it is. From, uh, it's got a tone code of uh, 136.5. And so that makes it real easy to find uh, new frequencies without having to go back to your computer and, and uh, upload the whole mess all over again.